Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So once again, welcome back to our web application pen testing series. In this particular series, we are right now on the challenge number 16. Challenge number 16 falls under the stage 2 of our challenge, which is the intermediate challenge in terms of difficulty level, right? So let us understand, clearing this particular challenge helps us gain 5 points. In case you use a hint or a clue, you lose 1 point, right? And there are about 28 tries of people who have attempted clearing it. Let me uh, re read the question for you. Thank Lord, Vinod Senthil has got, into the uh, got out of the base before it collapsed. He is in a hurry to reach a place and thank God finds a car passing along the direction. The driver asks for a password that tells Vinod Senthil that they only have one attempt to get the password right. It is said that only a man from Kabul can access the password. Please be mindful, we all are aware that Kabul is a place, location, right? Let me show you the hint. Hint clearly says that try modifying the user agent. What is a user agent? Basically, we have to understand what is a user agent. User agent is a small string that is associated with any browser that you use. May it be Firefox, may it be Chrome, may it be Edge, may it be Internet Explorer, or may it be Brave, may it be Tor, whatever it is, right? So each of these browsers will have a string which is by default embedded into that, which says what version of uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever application they're running, right? So. This is also an indicator for certain websites which are responsive in nature. For example, if you go to a website from a Apple device, right, the website would look a little different. If you go to the same site from a laptop which is running a Google Chrome uh, browser, the website would look different. If you are opening it from Edge browser, it will look different. How is that happening? So it happens in conjunction with two things. One is it is bootstrapped, obviously, number one. Number two is it uses the user agent as an input with which it shows the web application in a certain way. Okay, now let us quickly understand how to find the user agent, right? I'm gonna search what is my user agent. When I search what is my user agent, see this is a website that goes to this one and I clicking it, I can clearly say it is Google Chrome, the last line you can actually see, right? Okay, don't conclude anything. I will show you this. There is a Google Chrome extension that I've installed. It's called Chrome UA Spoofer. UA stands for User Agent Spoofer. Please install that onto your Google Chrome. And once you have that, you have all of these. See, uh, I click Opera and I click Opera. Look at this, what happens? It says that the user agent is Opera. Am I clear? It clearly tells that it's Opera. Now, let me say Firefox. Beautiful. It says it's a Macintosh Intel Mac OS X running Firefox 33.0, right? Now, please be mindful. I can now do this. Right click this. Options. Please see this. This is the name of this uh, plugin or an add-on. Here, uh, I'll just delete this one because I already created one. Okay, see this, I say Kabul, 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 Kabul. And I add this user agent to this string. Please be mindful, when I go click on this page, right? When I go click onto this page, what is this page? Okay, let me close this. See, this is the question with which Please see this, it is said that only a man from Kabul can access the password, right? It says click here for the password. I go click on this, it opens up a page. On that page, it says click here to get the treasure, right? Now I click on this, it opens something like this. Google Chrome for, okay, please be mindful. It is showing back our own user agent back to us, right? Now, if I go click on this, Windows, Windows phone. If I do this, please see this, it shows the user agent changed now, right? 
so i am saying that i am from google chrome or i am from windows mozilla or i am from windows phone 8.0 right i can tell to the website that i am from this right if you saw the question properly the question also says it is said that a man from kabul only can access it so i have to change it see this i added a string call kabul right so let me open it and let me click this let's see what happens wow when i change it to that string as kabul the user agent is kabul it prompts up something else to us it says this on kabul meaning this might likely be the password let me try this now i put this as a password which i've got from where from this one right now i click submit let's see what happens beautiful we have successfully cleared this challenge by changing the user agent from google chrome to kabul and letting the site know that the user agent is kabul so that site or the capture the flag platform looks for the user agent if it is kabul then show the password then it showed the password with which we were able to log into the application so upon clearing this challenge i hope that you all understood what is a user agent how to change it how to uh, modify and edit it let me also tell you this okay let me change this back again to google chrome default so you have this value right is it required that you have to use a google chrome extension to do it by default there is a default method through which you can do it you don't need a third party utility but using a third party utility makes our lives a lot easier right that's why i'm using that but let me tell you i do a right click i go to inspect and in the inspect there is an option which says application i click on application in application there are a lot of option but let me not go anywhere on this three dots you find here go click on more tools go to network conditions If you click network conditions look at this is this use browser default right okay now beautiful we were successfully able to change the password to i mean the user agent to kabul with using the default google chrome settings by clicking on this going to more going to network conditions we already know this is it but if i change it to say use bro- default browser and i refresh this you are going to see that it's going to open up google chrome details right so you don't really need a third party tool to do it but it is still possible that you can do it with a third party tool because the user interface is a lot better but yeah this is how you clear this particular challenge i hope you all had something to learn from this about uh, user agents and uh, if i open firefox if i open google chrome if i open you know uh, mozilla opera or something of that sort for the website to know what application they are what browser they are using this user agent technique is used right not just that in case you create an application using java if you create an application using python the user agent by default will show java and python right that that be the name of the user agent right so i hope you all had something to learn from this in case you did or in case you think someone would love to learn something like this please consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity